Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro, and I'm joined by Ule, Ulo Sara. Ulo, Ulo Sara. <laughs> Sorry. Um, thanks for joining me. You're from uh, the company Reach You. Tell me a bit about the company and, and the products, services you provide. And the, the Reach You is the Estonian company, and, um, and uh, we already established uh, some 25 years ago, started as the map makers. Okay. So until now, we are combining the skills of um, of geographers and uh, programmers, and making some value from those points where uh, where IT have some coordinates. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> and um, and when when did when did it change from the kind of traditional cartography to? Um, I, I think right after in the in the already in the start of 90s, we started to build up some um, some geo information systems. And from uh, 2000, uh, together with Ericsson, uh, we started to research uh, how to get how to use Ericsson infrastructure and getting the location of every call and SMS made from the network. Okay. So after that, we are mostly in location business from uh, from uh, mobile networks. Okay. And um, that um, that data that you're able to gain, what's that used for? Uh, it's it's used in 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 both the, the private sector and and in public sector. Uh, one example is is in public sector is very widely known around the world is uh, is emergency call centers. When person calls to emergency center, uh, the operation op operators can uh, see from the screen where the call is coming, and can provide some help quicker than asking them and what, what is the area mm -hmm. where you are calling. Sometimes the people are calling, are calling are children, they even can't explain it. Sometimes they are foreigners, they don't know where they are. Mm. And, and, uh, and, but like in Brazil, this, th there are no this kind of option for government to provide this service. Okay. But for security, there are so many ways to use this location data, like um, for, uh, for police, for following, tracking the suspects. Mm. Uh, for uh, for uh, crime prevention, to monitoring areas in some suspicious areas, some known drug spots, okay. who are the persons are going there, what is their network, everything could be taken from the location. Okay, and everything there is a uh, so your solution is is software or a combination of software and hardware. Uh, it's software. Yeah. It's uh, absolutely software. Uh, we are using the infrastructure already. The operators built. Okay. Okay. And and. You're, as you mentioned, an, an Estonian business. Os Estonia seems to be a, a hotbed for these kind of technologies. They seem to develop quickly. They get tested and get to market quickly. Yeah, I think Why do you think that is? I, I think Estonian um, uh, e-society is one of the most advanced one in mm. the world. I, I can give you some example. Um, we can make the company in Estonia uh, with eight minutes whatever time in the Christmas Eve. Okay. Absolutely legally, absolutely mm -hmm. operative after this eight minutes, eight minutes. And it also includes establishing all the bank accounts for the company. Wow. <laughs> that is something Estonia, yeah. in Estonia you can do. Okay. And why do you think it works so well there? Is it because there's so, so strong an infrastructure or is it, is it an attitude or? Uh, Attitude is very important there, mm. and, and it's not only the government. It's, it, there should be three parts of that. It should be the government who should forward-looking, mm. uh, open-minded. There should be ICT sector who provides those, those things, yep. and, uh, and uh, it should be also cooperative with government, uh, should be uh, proactive, and of course should be their people who should be mm. also open minded and switched on to for this kind of solutions. And I think this combination uh, works in Estonia very, very well. Yeah, and you think there is a willingness amongst the people? For example, in the UK, there's a, there's a, a resistance to having things like identity cards, but I guess in yeah, Estonia. But, but the card itself doesn't give anything. No. No. The, the actions you can do, mm. like, like, uh, like signing documents electronically to to having those, uh, recognize those signs by government. Like yesterday from, from Brazil, I signed two documents, uh, one agreement with government and one, uh, one report we should send to the government, mm. electronically from here, from Brazil. Okay, 
Okay. So, so it makes our life so much easier, and, and I think it should be explained this way to the person. So yeah, yeah. That it's, no, it's service; it's not another obligation. Or yeah, I think that's the problem. <laughs> people see it as as, as uh, an obligation or an yeah. infringement; those kind of exactly. things instead of exactly. a benefit yeah. and a service. And it is just about how it's how it's presented. Just getting back to your business, what kind of projects are you? Um, are you involved in at the moment that are using your technology, particularly here, say, in, in South America? In South America, we don't have any customers in uh, Brazil yet. Uh, we have some pilots mm -hmm. running, but I don't want very much to no. talk about them. Yeah, of course. But we have customers in Mexico, in, uh, in uh, Argentina, in, in South America. And uh, they, are, they are both in for, um, for uh, operators inside use, mm -hmm. like uh, one of them are uh, for uh, Offering better service, yeah. combining the network infrastructure and and uh, and uh, the people and the customers. So they are the solution name is the network customer experience. Okay. So so for providing better service. Yeah. And uh, and the other one is uh, is uh, location based advertising. And of course, also all the all the things governments require from operators to provide the location uh, from the network uh, and and we offering this kind of middleware for for operators okay well sounds really good um look forward to your presentation i think that's tomorrow is it it's or tomorrow yes tomorrow thank you very much for stopping by to chat and thank you for your time thank you